So, so we're so we're live on YouTube. Thanks everybody for tuning in. This is forever since, but not as you know it. We normally go out on uh, various radio stations and Spotify and SoundCloud, but uh, but we're doing something different now. We've been doing a few video zooms because we're just going to zoom our friends at home. Why not? And tonight we've got special guests in the studio, Bunny X. Thanks for joining us, Bunny X. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, and, oh, and disco synthwave duo. And also special guests, new microphones, because you guys new are putting up with absolute squalor. You know, we, we, we yeah. need to stop being frugal if we're going to make it this thing pretty, work. It was pretty, pretty so, bad. Yeah. The hot minute and primo interviews were a bit tinny, weren't they? But uh, oh, yes. hopefully this is better. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> and Mary's in space. Uh, and Abby's got a cool neon uh, flamingo behind her. So, uh, oh, I love that little yeah. guy. We've got yeah. forever yeah. since behind. on my wall, but no one can see it. Yeah, I'm looking left or right. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, guys. We really appreciate it all the afternoon where you are. We're just going to have a little chat, man. Well, Joe and I have got a few questions. We'll fire at you. We'll, we'll, we'll have a conversation. And, uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes. Maybe some of the other friends of Forever Sim team. Um, oh, did I introduce ourselves? So I'm Rob Dyson, the co-host of Forever Synth. Joe... Uh no, actually, you got it right the first time. I'm oh, no, Joe. No, no. Oh, it's different on my screen. The one, the one with the Forever Synth uh, logo that is actually in one piece. Yeah, so, yeah. In several pieces, aren't yeah. I? Like, yeah, yeah, Joe Ward, this guy started it all when it was back when it was ever since the 80s. That, I, that, that terrible pun. I started it, you... It, <laughs> hey, it was oh, a, ter- a terrible a pun. It, yes, it served yeah. a purpose for a community a radio people. station. <laughs> <laughs> but now we're worldwide, 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 worldwide. 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 I love your t-shirt too, Rob. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm representing your buddy. Lingo. Your oh, buddy, Aaron. Yeah, so, um, we're, going to, we're going to talk about Aaron, I hope. Um, so we've just got a few questions, man. We're just going to fire them off you. Um, shall I begin trying to sort of set the scene? We want to know who Abby and Mary are. And uh, and I heard, well, I read that you guys uh, you guys got together as a group after hanging out at a karaoke bar. Is that right? And bonding over like Malbec and pizza. Good choice of wine. Excellent somewhere. choice. Yeah. I yeah. ham and cheese sandwich also. <laughs> A cheese Sponsored sandwich. At late night ham and cheese sandwich. Yeah. Oh, ham and cheese sandwich. That <laughs> thing like some... this hangover remedy. Oh yeah. Well, after all that Malbec, I'm not surprised. I mean, and there was a Queen cover band in there somewhere. Like, explain there the story. Give us the origin story. In there. Um. All right. So I was with a friend of ours who's relocated back to Texas some time ago. But she and I were walking around like 42nd Street, and out of nowhere, I was like, you know what? It'd be really cool if we could do a cover band of Queen, but just female voices, because oh, obviously. Yeah. You know, we don't really, we're not like that savvy. Be- best the Queen song? What's the best Queen that, song? So. What's that? What's the best Queen song? The best Queen song? Well, my favorite is Bohemian Rhapsody. Okay. A, 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 a safe choice. Honorary Freddie. Mine is I Want to Break Free. Oh, <laughs> I, I love that too. too. And the video. And... I mean, I've got the tights on under this. Uh, I know if I just, with the Hoover, the vacuum cleaner around the house. <laughs> Please. It's oh, yeah. a pretty yeah. sight. You got to put heels and a wig on, though. That was yeah, doing oh, yeah. that. I think the video went viral of the guy of the guy doing the little vacuum at home. No. Oh While gosh. It's so there's an idea for the next uh, the next show, Joe. On your so own, you matey. Were... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're lovers of Queen. You're doing a Queen covers band, and you thought, hang on a minute. Guys, what's, your, what's your favorite Queen song? Uh, mine is a good old fashioned lover boy. Oh, nice. Ooh. Bit of a bit of a different one there, but yeah. Yeah. Let me think. What's mine? Um, what's uh, I like? Don't stop me now. I, I always think of Shaun of the Dead now when I when I hear oh, that. Oh sure. So, oh my God. The right? big yeah. fight at the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a good tune. Oh, you're my best friend. Du, 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 du. Oh, That's you make me live. I like that one too. That's yeah, it. we that used to do all seen. of the big hits in harmony. Did you? Where so where did you? Outfits, the whole where thing. did you perform as as a Queen cover band? Oh, mostly on Baker Street. Okay. There's a, you know, it's kind of Cover City Central, if you want to call it that. Cover City <laughs> so, Central. I mean, anyone? they have cover bands all the time. Oh, so right. that was one. And we only really performed out, what, like three times? Tops? I don't know. I, mean, oh, I think it was three yeah. times, like two at the Red Lion, which is on Bleecker Street in the West, sort of West Village, Village area. Oh, and yeah. one time at a place called Ace of Clubs. Right. <laughs> Ace of <laughs> Clubs, that's yeah, cool. I mean, Great name. Longer, but, I mean, we're, we're going back a ways back now. Oh, yeah. A ways, ways, ways back. When was yeah. this? What time? What period of time was this? Was 2009. This? Between 2009. 2008 and 2009. Yeah. Before so Synthwave. Before Synthwave. You needed an outlet. Yeah. You found it. Yeah. 
Um, and 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 Abby, was it you? Uh, I feel it's a bit like this is your life. Do you remember the British program? This is your life. Dun, 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 dun. They put out a big book and they talk about. <laughs> and in 1978, um, I feel that Brian, Abby, your brother, introduced you to Italo Disco and uh, with his big vinyl collection. Oh, and yeah. uh, and is that how the whole thing started? That you wanted to like ditch Queen, get on the Italo Disco tip. Well, yeah. So I grew up listening to Italo. Um, so ever since I was a kid. You know, like like you know already, my older brother got me into it. Mm. So and he was a collector, so he still has a lot of stuff, and I've stolen some of his his records. Oh, you got some here. I did. That's exciting. Awesome. Um, but he collected everything, cassettes, CDs. That you know, at some point later on in the game, and then records. But um, yeah, grew up on Italo, and I mean, in '80s, of course. And so that's where yeah, Mary yeah. comes in. Is like you, you know, we have this, of course, like shared obsession with '80s music. Who doesn't? And then um, Mary and I started doing karaoke <laughs> way back when. Definitely. Um, in New York, like mid 2000s. Ah, uh, <laughs> definitely. Yes, that's right. And um, do that. And then we met friends, as Mary was mentioning, and got into like the cover band stuff. And then we yeah. sang backup vocals for another artist, actually a guy um, that Did lives you? in Sheffield. So over oh, guys. that's weird. That's weird. Yeah. yeah. Super random. Well, he Who's there that? Now, but he was in New York for a hot minute, and then yeah. he asked us to join mm. his band. Right. Oh, okay. What kind of band was that? It's called um, Ashbury and the Girls. Yeah. Okay. So we were the girls. The girls they were <laughs> you got to look that up. That sounds. That sounds. Is there any video footage lurking on the Isn't YouTube's it? of this? There probably is. Yeah. There there is, is. Sure. Yeah. I haven't so checked in a really long time, but. <laughs> So probably was going on for a while, you know, for years, really, like singing back up and other, you know, for other artists, wow. cover songs. And I, I guess it was like around maybe 2009, 2010. And I was like, Mary, why don't we just try and write our own material? We have a lot okay. of like shared love of 80s music. And then, of course, Italo for me. And then I got her into some Italo, too. Um, and a lot of it she already knew anyway. Um, mm. So then we started started trying to you know, write the material and kind of see. So it's so cool because off. it's yeah. unique because if synthwave didn't even happen, if that wasn't a thing, you were, you're still doing authentic kind of eighty sounding of you know Italo disco stuff. Right. So it, 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 you know, it, yeah, irrespective of anything of any kind of current trend or niche or recreation of what younger people think the 80s was about or like appropriating different so you, you know stick you on and it's uh, i think aaron villing has probably said aaron villing has probably said like uh it just sounds super authentic um so, so i much. like it for that um you yeah. cite um conrad uh kanashiro am i saying that right yes. kanashiro kanashiro um of disco success records and uh and mailroom as being like your unicorn um <laughs> yeah how important is it to find the right producer to kind of bring your he vision was. alive instrumental and Mary knows because of course she was there for all of this we started trying to write some songs in like 20 like 2009 2010 something like that okay. um started to get to you know get some some stuff together more it was more synth pop at that point mm. um and we you know we tried working with several different producers and and some were you know were perfectly fine and good and then we put out an EP in 2012 called Love Spy um it's all still up on SoundCloud but we don't really do much with those we songs. don't talk about that yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah and then um and then we befriended conrad i actually met him at a party at a teledisco party that i threw with of course you did nice. that you threw oh, oh that's cool yeah. was, was, was brian on the decks it was um, <coughs> i would have loved that he was djing but then he was using my my brother's record collection exactly <laughs> oh, that's nice so brian was so there on the we decks were... really <laughs> yeah what's oh, um, but... Was uh, Freddie Ventura invited to this uh, Italo disco party? Because, of course, you had him on your 2019 album quite prominently throughout yeah. a number of songs. I mean, that's a hell of a name to sort of get on the project. Yeah. How did you get that? That's incredible. It was like a dream. Mary, you want to tell the story? Which one? About Ooh. Hendrick Miller? Oh, that. Oh, my goodness. It kind of happened out of nowhere, to be honest. Like, all of a sudden, we got invited via Conrad, who had, at this point, was he already living in Mexico City? No, he was still in, like, oh, Sacramento, City. right? In California still. I think he was still in California, but he, yeah. I mean, had, I guess, had ties with them somehow, and they asked us to come on board for their first ever Italo Disco Festival mm -hmm. to be held at this big arena, which they oh, had to cut off most of it, but, I mean, there are pictures up of us on Facebook, um 
where you can see all of the performers oh, wow. together on stage and then the crowd behind us. And it was just such an enormous uh, moment for us because we never expected anything like that to happen ever. Put yeah. a link, so put a link onto our- Mexico, All of a sudden we're there, we're being wined and dined, we're having the time of our lives. Wow. It was the biggest three day experience I think we've ever had, but we had yeah. a blast. Make sure yeah, you put a picture onto really for the Facebook link onto Twitter or something so we can see everything. That'd be awesome. Yeah, we'll share it with the, uh, the viewers and the listeners. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah but there should be some video, I think, on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. But we could really, you know, try to filter uh, it Twitter. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. It was really fun and we were very honored to be there and they treated us like queens and it was <laughs> lovely. Yes, queen. <laughs> We were not upset. We didn't even really necessarily want to go back either. Like if we had more time. Yeah. You know, it, it was the last. Yeah, it was 2015. Oh, so good. What, what year? What year was this? 2015. 2015. It's funny you say that because year. there's a bit of a gap from 2013 to 2017 in your Spotify releases. What was going yes. on in that four year period? If you don't mind me asking, I hope it's not positive stuff. I mean, I think <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I'm like, Come down a rabbit hole now. Yeah. With work and life. Um, and weren't that active at that time. Um, I was doing, personally, I was doing a lot of traveling. Nice, where'd you um, go? Some of that time, oh, and then, um, I don't know, we got kind of lazy and just sort of took a back seat for, for a little bit there. Mm -hmm. And then we got kind of re-energized. I think it was around like 20, maybe in a way it was the Patrick Miller Festival in 2015 and meeting Fred and we performed with Fred Ventura and Fancy and some um, some other amazing okay. artists. And um, so it might have been that that kind of got the, the juices flowing again. Mm, nice. was it, more. Do you think it might? Sorry, sorry. I interrupted. I, not at all. Do you think it was, uh, do you think at that time the resurgence of or the sort of emergence of, of synthwave was coming through and maybe you thought, hey, there's a there's a place for us here or there's a piece get, of this. Get back on the wagon. Into? Yeah, yeah. For sure, yeah. So we were starting to write more material more in earnest, um, I'd say, I can't remember to be honest exactly, but I'd say maybe by 2017, we were like, all right, let's 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 get back into it. So we found, um, we were continuing to work with Conrad, but then we also started working with another producer called Miles Maxwell. Okay. Um, and, um, and so it was around like 2017 uh, where we started to work with him. Um, and we had all these demos um, and it, some of it just wasn't Conrad's style it was sort of more like 80s synth pop i guess okay. and, and we were pretty much strictly doing italo and high energy music with conrad mm. which we still are mm. um but then we just we wanted to kind of take a little bit of a different turn um and so for years i had been inspired by synthwave music without even really realizing it because i actually um i first heard parallels back in 2010. Oh. well she's going to join us on one of these in a few weeks i think uh, yeah, yeah we love yeah. holly yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, got into got into parallels <laughs> back in 2010, and then got like really really into FM Attack in 2013 with the Deja Good choice, record. excellent yeah. choice. Yeah. And um, sorry, and last year. So got really into it, but didn't even really realize. And Mary likes a lot of that stuff too, and did you know? Didn't realize at the time that it was like synthwave. It was a I know thing. What you mean. I'm not sure a lot of people did, to be honest, back yeah. then. I mean, no. I, I, I can I can safely say that I actually I came well after that, so I didn't even get to experience that kind of question mark thing going on in the scene. And sure. now we don't yeah. even have to ask it. It's here, and it's hopefully here to stay. Fingers yeah. crossed. What were um what were you listening to at the time, Mary? <laughs> um, at like 2015 time or yeah. just general? Um, 2015, I would guess. Usually my, my, my old standbys, my 80s favorites, things I grew up with, um, remembering an old record um, radio station called WLIR that was out on Long Island, which is a, um, you know part of New York State, obviously, but they were the first to ever, like they had one programmer and that guy would board, there was a, there's a, doc, there's a documentary on it in case you ever want to Oh, okay, see it. oh, I'll check it out. Different. That was their motto. He would jump a plane and take all his money with him and like pay cash for records, buy them in London and, and fly back and wow. play them in his wow. studio That's every so cool. Saturday. And then it became like a thing, yeah. And Should have just uh, downloaded I, I the MP3. I fell in love with that I couldn't hear on any other radio Lime station. Wire. So That's... that that was how I fell in love with eighties music, but that was a long time ago, obviously. But I still love them, and I still love those same songs. And yeah, hey man, I heard somebody sampled the Roaches the other day. 
Uh, and I used to listen to the Roaches on my dad's record player back like, oh, in, wow. in the early oh, the mid '80s. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Wow. Very different to the type of music we're play- we're talking about, but it just reminds me of an old song from your past that suddenly comes into current day because somebody's like sampled it. It's like what? Oh. Um, so, did you find the synthwave scene accepting or like embracing? Because you, you know, you're capturing a specific. I, you, you have to movie. say yes. You have to say yes because then they won't. <laughs> that, that, they'll unac- they'll unaccept <laughs> well, I mean, you. You'll be unaccepted. <laughs> <laughs> so what, they've been very open to us even though we're not all 100 percent synth wave for songs per mm. se like some of them are and you'll be able to tell the difference it's the high yeah. energy ones are the ones that we do with conrad the other ones are you know more gentle more 80s or mm. more like you know there's a specific sound and i know you guys know what that means so yeah, no that's for sure they've been lovely very supportive of us and stuff that we've that we've done and showing up at shows and we show up at theirs if we can and you know support them also and it's it's been a really lovely community i didn't know what to expect but and you're lucky you're lucky you're in a you're a bit of a hub as well for the scene obviously uh, same with london obviously i think the west coast you're you're in one of the hubs i would imagine so the scene is there as well so you get to sort of see it face to face whereas a lot of people are doing it from their bedrooms their tvs youtube all that sort of thing in the likes of I don't know, Ukraine, perhaps, Greece. I, I, um, <laughs> so, we, we, you know, count, count yourselves lucky, you know, we're, all four of us, actually. Absolutely. Uh, we're yeah. sure. I feel like it's, it's New York, London, Toronto, mm. LA. Yeah. yeah, Toronto. There's a big scene in Toronto, right? Rob loves um, talking about Toronto. How did you get Toronto. in touch with this dude? Yeah, I got engaged in Toronto. Hey. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron honestly really, really helped us a lot, too, because he premiered yeah. our first ever Synthwave song, which we released in um, mid-2018, mid uh, our song Stay. Okay. And he premiered it that, on, okay. on the blog. And we met in the, gosh, I'm trying to remember the first time we, Mary, do you remember when we first met Aaron? I think it was just probably out and about. I think you met Aaron first because I was, like, being a little stinker and not wanting to <laughs> think <back laughs> Classic. I was, I was like, a oh, it's annoying. I was like, oh, it's so loud. It smells like. <laughs> and so she was like, you have to show up because people don't believe that you exist. Yeah, I was like, people don't think you exist. <laughs> they think that they thought you were making me up. Uh, you live on the moon. I was like, all right, all right, I'll come out. I'll finally like, come out. And I came out, but yeah. you had already met Aaron by then. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think you introduced us, and that was lovely. He was like, oh my God, you're actually here. Yeah. Oh, he's a great supportive guy of the scene, right? He's a lo- yeah, he's a love. He really is wonderful, and we're very grateful for his support and everyone stuck else. Your, he stuck your great track on uh, his uh, his Vellingo presents five years, of course, which came out uh, yeah last year. That was a fun night. That really was a fun night. Had a little celebration at a at a bar in Williamsburg, and it was it was really fun. Oh, Williamsburg, take me back. There's really not that the much here. The whole record got made. Oh, so that was nice, you know. Wow! So oh, packed I, in the flowing, so that was also nice. There's so many more meetups. <laughs> there's so many more meetups stateside, isn't there, Rob? I mean, we've got a few here, but I just feel like I'm always hearing about yeah. the, there's the designated clubs and bars and things. There's not there isn't yeah. one here in London, is there? There seems to be a bit more. I'm always hearing of things happening at like the Knitting Factory in mm. New York oh, yeah. and, and yeah, and down in Winsburg and stuff. We haven't really got an equivalent outland put on a lot of nights they're probably the the predominant yep there you go there, oh, there you, go. you go but um but i guess they're still still few and far between it's still a bit of an underground sort of type of thing i don't know yeah. i guess it, as it is in new york as well but um i i think uh i don't know so grime and, and hip-hop and house and, and stuff is, is still quite popular i Horrible found myself an old man talking about you were saying <laughs> i'm just saying horrible genres horrible horrible, horrible genres, genres. every single one of them genre. oh it's disgusting <laughs> it's horrible <laughs> you're a lot younger than me joe we were listening to hip-hop in the 80s and uh... you were listening to manfred man's earth band when you were a child so <laughs> <laughs> i was saying was it um uh, george formby <laughs> when i'm cleaning windows that's about my type of uh, yeah age group that's right oh, you, you guys <laughs> Until a certain little lady comes by, um, you were, you've been you've been picked by a lot of people, man. And um, you were on the charity retro relief for Harmon Nights album, the retro Re- our buddies retro reverb uh, rhythms, the, the 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 charity tape they did, and Valingo. Um, clearly, you're a well considered act. Um, you know, given the scene, a little bit something different, a little bit authentic. How does that make you feel? Oh. How does that make you feel inside? <laughs> it gives us the warm fuzzies. You warm fuzzies. <laughs> 
for sure. You know, with that. No, it's lovely. It's really lovely when people react well to things. We never know necessarily, right, Abby, like what to expect. We can only hope for the best and put it out into the world like a little baby. <laughs> <what happens. laughs> Either you like it or it's naggy or, you know, you'll see what happens. But luckily, we've we've done pretty well thus far, and people have been very, very sweet and supportive. Have, have either of you ever actually played a gig that, with quite an unaccepting audience, whether it be synthwave or as a quick, you know, the Queen tribute act? Have you have you have you had a difficult audience before? Actually, no. Good. And I was hoping I you'd say that. Yeah. No one's thrown any bottles of wee wee at you. But certainly some shows are more successful than others. Yeah. I mean, we've gone with turnout. To shows before. The... We've had yeah. like, you could hear crickets. Like there's like, <laughs> there. like... Um, we've had like technical, we had a technical, you know, a horrible girl. thing happen back no, in like 2016 or 2015. I can't remember now, but um, my That's laptop not even there anymore. mid set. Remember that, Mary? I do. It all of a sudden started slowing down. <laughs> oh, no. Vaporwave. It, so it just stopped and we were like, okay, um, sorry guys, that was our second song, but uh, <laughs> out, so we're going to meet you at the bar if anybody wants to drink. <laughs> oh, yeah. we you were could have totally got away with it and said that you invented yeah. Vaporwave. Didn't want to go and put a beat behind it. Vaporwave, right? <laughs> I mean, basically. We should have just like played it off. Like, this is Vaporwave. This is like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's 2016, like, it guys. Uh, I laughed my ass off. I just thought it was so funny. I was like, this is, I mean, you can't make this shit up. You really can't make that up. It like, sucked. It happened, and we were mortified. And we yeah. Were like, oh, we're here. We're not going to leave now. Yeah. I'm sure everybody experiences yeah, something like that. Um, tell you what makes me laugh my ass off, the video to Lasers and Lace. Oh, God. <laughs> That's a right. good reason. But I it, wanted we to. Love it. We love it, but it we we understand. <laughs> I wanted to be at that party so bad, and also it, right. It didn't look fun. Yes, and the Toxic Avenger. Oh, I don't know if anybody else has noticed the guy with the Toxic oh, Avenger face. Oh, you noticed at the that. thing. Totally. References. He uh, really he does have matter. so many references because he has so much time somehow, somewhere. I don't know how this guy gets it. I'm just, I'm just here. Yeah. I'm just here on the top hand, right hand side of this thing, just kind of doing this. Like, yeah, oh, sorry, yeah. Joe, sorry, Joe, sorry, Joe. No, no, it's it's fine. Like you, you have many, many more references to me because you're older. It's as simple as that. So, <laughs> Mary and I can relate. <laughs> but I would, I mean, I would like to say, like Dylan, she, our director extraordinaire, and like so creative. Like she kind of negotiated that whole situation and she's done one other video for us for a song called hit show okay, and they really turn out amazingly well like she works really hard on them she's also like super energetic so she gets things done in like a quarter of the time that other people right. might right. and so it really worked out well um do you find that um the creators of these videos actually they do they kind of want to do it for free to get their work out there or do, do people charge this kind of thing i don't quite know with synthwave like i sometimes see videos that look like they're kind of done let's just say on a shoddy camera um, and yeah it's a for, for mary and i it's been a combination of both i'm okay. certainly like we've hired people to do like really big proper productions um but mo the vast ma the vast majority is just uh, a pretty nominal amount um, and, and feeding people, <laughs> feeding the extras yeah. and making sure they have pizza and, and beer and, and all that good stuff. Um, yeah. but then we, with New York spaces can be tricky. So it's, it's, that's kind of what costs the most. Sometimes it's not the fee of the director, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it can be the rentals, the, you know, the space rental. So that right. can really add up a lot. Um, and equipment <laughs> rental and that kind of thing. But, but basically Mary and I have absolutely been able to do it on a pretty low budget for the most part, which, you know, is apparent in our, in the videos themselves. No, because like, like you guys inventing Vaporwave, you, uh, uh, the retro is, you know, it's just deliberate. There's, there's no shame in that game. Um, yeah. And yeah. I think it's more fun. Like, um, Mecca Maiko's new video for phones. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, mm. you got it. Definitely check it out, and it's okay. so perfect. It's exactly like that late '80s, kind of early '90s look, oh, cool. um, oh, like old VHS, and it's just they've really nailed it. That's oh, I love it, man. So good. 
put some, li- put some links up onto our um, Twitter links so that we can actually see some of the things you've been talking about because yeah. uh, I think people would be interested, cool. definitely. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah see that. Great. I was up in my loft. I was up in my attic at the weekend and I found a bunch of VHSs and I haven't got a VHS uh, player anymore, but I really want to know what's on them. What's on so, them? Do you, you remember? You, you VHS might not show? want to know. We, uh, <laughs> uh, well, one, usually VHS, you don't want to know what's on VHS. No. no nothing <laughs> Nothing no. good can come from VHS, I think, <laughs> uh, in this day. Because you, you'll probably find you've been taping episodes of Sabrina the Teenage Witch or something like that. <laughs> 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 yeah. The truth comes out. <laughs> probably got um, a, a Toxic Avenger, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, um, the dead. Yeah. Uh, the dead Nukem High, <laughs> the deadly, the deadly spore, the demon headmaster, probably some bit. The like demon that. headmaster. <laughs> Evil Dead One, Evil Dead Two, the original. Evil Dead Two was just a remake of Evil Dead One. Mm. Oh, um, man. You've yeah. done a, you've oh, done a whole load of. Um, sorry, sorry, I interrupted you. Oh yeah, so I was just gonna say that Dylan Myers Greenberg, who directed um, Lasers and Lace, the video with uh, with Toxy, um, she used to work okay. at Trauma Studios. Ah, so, no way. Yeah. So part of that video, like the office scene, yeah. where Mary and I are like on the phone and that kind of thing. Yeah, that you're was, knocking off for the day. Trauma at the studio. No way. Queen. But, yeah. yeah. Was um, that's not a real toxie then? That wasn't a real yeah. off cut from a movie. No, I mean no. they have oh. the costume and everything, the mask and the suit and stuff. And Matt, yeah, our friend Matt put it on. <laughs> oh man, I wanted to be toxie so bad. It's <laughs> so good. <laughs> what what um what uh, sorry joe i'll keep i'll keep asking the questions you, you go for that. no no it's fine i mean obviously you, you're about to mention the collaborations um i mean eff- effectively you have done a hell of a lot of collaborations at least uh the new signal with like tensions with is it kms ksmtk is it said in a particular way or am, am i mis- yeah, um cosmetic it's, it's cosmetic ah oh, see all these uh, all this lack of vowels this lack of vowels is throwing me in synth way no, it, it absolutely yeah, throws me it. By it's God. Little, he goes by Cosmetica as well and Cosmetism, so he has a couple different um, terms he uses, but we've just been going by Cosmetic. Well, um, cosmetic. Me, m- myself and Rob go by uh, RGSM, which is orgasm, but nobody knows that. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> oh. that's, the, that's the first gasm uh, I could think of off the top of my head. The first. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I must have shared that with you. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Um, yeah, thank you very much. And uh, anyway, back to collaborations. Um, so, <laughs> what's the best thing about uh, bringing in other writers, uh, ideas-wise, influences? Uh, does it cause arguments? Are there any sort of moments where you you sort of chuck someone because they haven't agreed with your work or anything like that? I mean, there are some times that we, you know, it just doesn't end up working out. Um, and it's, yeah. and it's, you know, there's nothing that happens as far as like the friendship and, and whatnot and. And sometimes we, you know, we talk about it in, in the end and we kind of realize like, eh, this doesn't seem to be working out, but why don't we try it again at some point with another, with another song, you know, or down the line. Um, but yeah, I mean, for every, you know, um, collab release that we, that comes out, there's probably at least a few that um, no one ever found out about. Well, oh, I, really? I, I can't believe you chucked Rod Stewart when he didn't agree with some of your work. I mean, that's, that's, that's insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane. <laughs> you know, like, microphone hog type of guys, right? So, who are we are? We are. <laughs> yes, we're being axed out of our project, as if. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I mean, is he still singing? I don't know. Stewart. He's yeah, he's he's so. still bopping. He's still doing that crutch yeah. thing on stage. Uh, he was he was at a live performance a couple of months ago, I think. And he was really kind of it's it's a bit creepy when you're in your seventies and uh it's just time but, to pack it up, I yeah. think. He still looks good for his age. I mean I I that one out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, I look pretty I much his age. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you don't. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've got more. I've got more grey hair than Rod Stewart. Admittedly, he dyes it on a weekly basis, but I've, I'm covered in greys. Look at it. Look at it. It's true, oh, actually. I, I, You're only a yeah. man of thirty. Thirty-one, Rob. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Extra. Well, important, Mary and I are right there with you guys, but we just colour it. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Big news. You take but, pride but, in yourself. It's another story. What's, What's that, that? Mary? Cutting our hair is another story. I will. Uh, I mean, I, you cut your bangs sometimes, right? Yeah. Abby? I've been cutting my bangs. Nice job. I cut it the other day. I'm normally a redhead, but I just got a little bored. <laughs> <laughs> Change it up. Why not? 
What's your what's your I daily know, routine? Okay, but they would be like sideways and <laughs> did for now until somebody can do me a favor. Yeah, <laughs> coming over in PPE just just to sort of cut your hair like somebody fixing ET up or something. <laughs> put my what, put my bangs that are back here like over yeah. my my face mask. <laughs> Yeah, you pull me out. Cutting your own hair, or are you are you able, are you allowed to, to are you permitted to go out and get it done? No, no nothing at all. I I got my girlfriend to have her very first go, uh, and considering she used to work in a hairdresser's, admittedly sweeping, <laughs> it didn't go very well. Oh, I ended up spending about another half an hour myself in the mirror, oh, wow. sort of sort of tidying it up a bit. But um, yeah, you gotta go to the experts sometimes yeah it's, worth it. it's gonna be so long though i think we've got at least another month until we see hairdressers open dude more than that i i, th I think one in one out one in one out and they'll, they'll stick a razor on the end of like a two meter long pole and just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> shearing a sheep <laughs> well is it is it, is it, is it, is it... quarantine oh man i'm sick of it now i'm so sick of it is you must be sick of it because you can't come together and write well I believe you can do a lot over the internet these days, but you oh. can't come physically together and write or produce or make music. Is that, and how far away do you guys live from each other? Yeah, we, we in Hoboken, New Jersey, which is oh. only like, like across the pond from Manhattan, it, you know, yeah. on you know, the path train here. But still like people are having a little party in front of their house right now and they, they're not wearing masks. I mean, they all live in the same building. So perhaps they all know oh. each other, but there were dogs Douche involved. Bags. And that's why I'm in here too, because if I went into my living room, it would be so much louder because the windows are open. It's amazing. Is there any coronavirus up there in the stratosphere where you seem to be? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, you, you've, you've picked a good spot. The rate is not great, but Hoboken hasn't had any you know, a big surge or anything. Like I think today there were like I don't know three people admitted or something. The my numbers oh. are pretty low, but that doesn't mean that it's not there. It's yeah. okay. No. And yeah. if they, oh, they think they want to reopen the parks here in Hoboken, and there are quite a few of them. One is called Sinatra Drive. It's beautiful. You can see Manhattan. The skyline is really gorgeous from there. Oh, wow. People mm. are walking around like this virus doesn't exist, and it's mm. really scary to me. So I pick and choose when I leave the house. Right, yeah. Here today because Mother's Day is coming here. Are you both working? Everybody needs a present. So yeah. I just like, <laughs> like, I'm back home. Are you both working at the moment? Are you actually going out to work or working from home or? No, no, we got shut down. I was working part time at a salon in the Lower East Side. Oh, oh no, poor that. thing. And you know, it's okay because I was like, well, I mean, I'd rather be home and safe than like waiting for people to cancel their appointments. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Anyone on the phone. So we were shut down like the 12th or the 13th or something. And then they're wanting to reopen in June, but I really don't think that's a good idea. No, no, I it's not. I've got a feeling. What are your daily routines then? Kind of get up and I don't know, walk around the house a bit and then turn your, turn your pink flamingo bit. lamp on. Yeah. <laughs> Always. Yeah. Every day. <laughs> Make coffee. Make coffee. Yeah, same. Meditation just to start the day. Yeah. Make some toast, <laughs> Instagram it, make some yeah. soap. Tweet oh, it. Wait, yeah. <laughs> so, was it soda bread? Or I, if I ever do that, somebody let me know that I've lost my mind officially. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to see my avocado toast, trust me. I mean, it looks good to me, but... Yeah, no, I bet it's... Uh, good choice. Yeah. yeah, that's really good. Loads of pepper, salmon, and avocado on toast with, a bit of, with, with some egg. Ooh. That's Thank the way to do it. A little bit of scrambled egg. That's the way to do that it. That sounds like something to take a picture of. <laughs> yeah, but I'll, I'll still let you know that you've gone crazy. <laughs> I posted a picture of some sad avocado toast. Let me know. <laughs> mm, quarantined avocado toast. In life. So, sad. so you guys had a single out uh, week before last. We did. Uh, yeah. Are we? Can we expect uh, an EP or, or, or an album anytime soon? What's What's up? What's going on with you? Yeah. Uh, so we're actually so we've been super busy, which is in a way. So I guess so. Silver lining of the whole situation is that. Mary and I, I'm still at home, I'm working during the week, but then I, you know, have so much more downtime than, than before. Um, so even though I'm still, I'm still on the clock, I'm still able to get some Wait, stuff done. Where are you and, working, Epi? What do you do? Um, I work for the city, actually. I'm a city, New York City employee, so I work for the oh, Parks Department. Key worker. Parks and Rec. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh nice. Oh. Wow. Oh, Parks and Rec. Thank you, Muni. Is there a little Sebastian? Has he come by recently? Um, 
Parks and Rec reference. I, I only know. I only know. I only know Ron Swanson, who says, "Bring me Ron all. Swanson. Bring me all the bacon you have." No, no, no. I don't think you understood me. Bring me every single piece of bacon you have. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reference I know. We, we, yeah, we, we quite, we quite like a lot of American sitcoms, right? Mm. You and I, Joe. We do. You and Primo uh, were bonding. Uh, yeah, there. Arrested Development. It's always Sunny in Philadelphia are my sort of top two, definitely. Always oh, Sunny is really funny. Yeah, yeah. You guys have got some good stuff coming out. You, to, to be honest, a lot of your '90s stuff was dreadful, apart from Fraser. That was amazing. Oh, Seinfeld. Kind of a. I mean, yeah. Seinfeld was still on, right? I mean, yeah. Well, I yeah. don't remember. Yeah. So Your kept... last episode sucked, I thought. I was like, what was the point? Which was that? Seinfeld had a last episode sometime in the 90s. I don't yeah. Know and it and was then, really um, bad. I was like... And Larry David in Kirby like, Enthusiasm did a kind of Seinfeld, another episode or something. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure. I can't remember if that was yeah. ended or not. It took me a while to wrap my head around that one. Hmm. I was like, he's such a pain. He's annoying. Like, I don't want to watch this. And then I was yeah. Like, oh, it's just an old grump. Uh, it is. And so much of it was just like, yeah, ad libbed and stuff. A bit like a bit like some Ricky Gervais' stuff. Um, we were interrupted you when you were talking about new music. Sorry. Mm. Oh, well, Rob, Rob did. Don't say we. Rob interrupted you. <laughs> Not interrupted you. Not me. Right. Not this guy. Probably <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, with the extra time, we've been really busy working on some new material. So we're hoping to get our first ever full length record out later this year. Oh, cool. cool. So I'm hoping for like a fall release. I think that's realistic. Yeah. Um, Cause you know, we're going to hopefully try and do like between 10 and 12 songs. Oh, fantastic. Um, good proper, length. proper album. Yeah. Good length. And will it be, um, will it be uh, largely a tele disco or will it be a bit more synth wavy traditional or what you know, what's going to be going to dazzle us with jazz well, funk folk. I'm try and dazzle you guys. Um, <laughs> It's going to be back to our roots, so it'll be totally tallow, high energy. Cool. Um, Very cool. Might, you know, try and maybe slip one or two slow jams. Little side chain in there. Slower jams. Slip a, uh, a Cleo Faces cover in there for me, because that's my oh, favorite yeah. Italo disco song. I do love it's that one. Song. Yeah. It's such a wonderful song. Although Just... I think Electric Youth uh, covered that and did a great job. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But you'll do sure. a better job. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> I don't know about that. You, you heard <laughs> it here first. You heard it here first. We'll get Electric Youth in and we'll be like, you're the best. Oh, my God, have you heard? <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie X have done this really awful cover. <laughs> Yours yeah, was way better. Oh, we, to we told them this was better. But, ah. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're our favourites. Um, what, what, what are your guys' influences then? Because I know that you like Electric Youth and I know that you were um, all those guys that were in Drive, but not because they were in Drive, but you were listening to a lot of those artists at the time, right? Um, college and Kavinsky. Don't you do a Kavinsky call cover? We do. One of you does. We, do. we used to do it all the time uh, years back. We don't do it um, really that much anymore, but it's, you know, it's one, it for, one to keep in the locker. That's a cool one to bring out at some gigs from time to time. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's still, it's still a crowd favorite and people still love it, even though it's so ubiquitous and kind of overdone, but, you know. Yeah. She did the whole vocoder vocals. <laughs> I'm giving you a night call to tell you how I feel. That one. Oh, no. <laughs> Horror movie. <laughs> there it was, but we decided to just try to sing it outright so we wouldn't scare anyone. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's correct. But we should yeah. try the scary. The I'm, scary I'm available uh, at just the cost of a flight from London to New York to do that. We'd like to get say. one of those right now. Good Very to true. know. Hmm. Good Thanks. to know. Sounds good. <laughs> other 80s influences? Horror movies? Sci-fi? What's going on? What, 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 what other art and media has influenced your, your sound and your, your vibe? Sure. Um, I mean, definitely I think Drive influenced so many, so many oh, artists. Yeah. Certainly there's that. Definitely. Um, but um, I think for, for Synthwave, I'm super influenced by a lot of the ladies of Synth. And Mary yes. and I have been lucky enough yes. to meet the, a lot of them and like really hang out and become proper friends. Represent. Um, and then we had a really big show at the Knitting Factory back in last September with Parallels and Zarina and Nina. Oh, yeah. That was I, super I, 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 cool. Mm. It was a really um, lovely, lovely night. And it was really yeah. jam packed. I just wish the venue would have treated us a little bit better. Oh, like, oh what happened? Spill the beans. 
yeah, they, they were just charging us all kinds of different, like very high fees for certain things that just didn't seem to make that much sense. Really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, a lot of the artists are nickel and dimes. Um, and then they, they gave us a Wednesday night and we were really trying to convince them to give us like a Friday night or a Saturday night. Yeah. Right? Because there's tons of people that are not too, not too far away, but far away enough that if it was in the middle of the week, it just it wouldn't be able to make it. Yeah. Yeah. Unavailable mm. to them, either they have right. families, so what, late night job, jobs. What 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 would they have on the weekend then? What what trumps what trumps Bunny X on a Friday or Saturday night? I mean, honestly, factory? I don't know. I just, Rod, <laughs> Rod, I'm just wondering. Rod about Stewart. This, the other Rod Stewart. for sure. <laughs> I was yes, just wondering, yeah. like, maybe would it have been, was it a sexist thing? Like, would it have been, maybe. if it was an all male lineup, would it have been different? No. I just wonder. I don't want me, I'm not trying to sow the seeds of discontent. The Knitting Factory staff were lovely to us. Like, that mm. was not an issue. Oh, yeah. so. It was just the nickel and diming that was going on that bothered mm. me. Yeah. You should, uh, you should go back with top hats and mustaches, uh, call yourself uh, Toxic <laughs> Avenger <laughs> and the Killer Tomatoes, perform some yeah. Italo Disco. <laughs> <laughs> it's just thinking, don't that yeah. it, gets, it gets to the heart um, of, of the matter in a way is that synthwave is still not that widely known. No. True. I mean, I, mean, there's certain, I know. I mean, but there's there's certain artists that definitely get a lot more. They um, have a draw. Passion. I mean, but they're still packed. packed. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the midnight, I guess, gunship. I guess if they ever toured. Oh, um, for sure. Yeah. Uh, pack them in. But there's yeah. still like a lot of a lot of bookers that really are not that familiar with with synthwave. I mean, at That's least very true. Part, we have a big scene here mm. um, with like Nightwave and all those amazing events that happen regularly or did happen regularly up, up until mm. recently, as we all know. Um, what? But I feel like there's still just a lack of awareness. Oh, au oh, contraire! Myself and Rob hosted a, an event with 35 people last year. <laughs> 35. 35. Yeah. Old people. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a bit crazy, right? But it was like again, it was like a Thursday night in like Wandsworth in South London. So no no bugger's gonna gonna come to that, I guess. I don't know. But it filled out but the it, venue. We we filled up the venue. That was the main thing. It was a bubble. More people up, up. heard it in New York because Night Ride um, played out the live feed. Uh, um so we more people attended, uh, just not um just virtually. I think. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. I mean, the scene is, we're lucky here in New York because the scene really is very strong here. So there's there's always either whether it's a show or a DJ night, you know, very or a dance cool. night with the night, you know, with Nightwave or San Junipero. Mm -hmm. um, do you, you think know, there's a, a trip to the UK? Do you think Bunny X might find themselves in the UK? Perhaps. I mean, I, let me let me recommend London. I mean, I don't know if anyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's where everything's happening. It's where everything's happening. If someone tells you, I don't know, ba that. Barnsley or <laughs> or Truro, don't Sheffield. yeah, or Sheffield. Well, hey, hey, hey. Well, Our there's, there's a. To to go to Sheffield. <laughs> I bet he is. Are you guys based in London? Or are you there? We are. We we are based. Yeah. yeah, pretty. We're actually only about two miles, I think, as the crow flies uh, from each other in London. Uh, although it's not it's not a, a 10 minute journey it's very very odd in london as i'm sure it's in new york it's so weird how long it takes but um yeah we're very fortunate to to be where we are i mean a, a studio a studio lets us play music for them it's incredible fantastic that's mm. amazing we love that's london very cool. london's amazing a minute. i love it i mean haven't been there in a, in a minute but would love to go back soon for sure and maybe we'll do that why not yeah. And who knows when we'll get to be performing live again here? We really, there is no telling. Yeah. Unfortunately, no. not. No. I mean, someday, so one fine day, you know. But if, in the meantime, <laughs> if like the travel bans get lifted and the planes are clean, yeah, yeah. and you're all sitting like six feet away from each other, and the planes like <laughs> a quarter full because uh, yeah, we're having to be socially they distancing. Have to do it, and everyone has to wear masks right now. And mm. the good thing about that is that the middle that bugger middle seat <laughs> under an issue yeah that will not be a problem <laughs> i hate the middle seat and i will not sit in the middle seat ever yeah. so i mean i don't better. think they'll be selling those middle seats for no a I, time. they should if they should remove the middle seat reduce the weight increase the fuel yeah. efficiency i mean we're on to something here straight away <laughs> yeah, so there we go. <laughs> another problem solved yeah like forever since <laughs> i like that solution perhaps yeah, yeah as well it would be great to perform, you know, we would love to like go to Europe, you know, and yeah. explore, see. 
What that about? That would be really great. And I think that I think that it might ha there might be something. You never know. What, what about a live stream? By day, right? Any live streams in the meantime? Do you think that we can afford you could to? Get up, you could get Nina involved. You yeah. can get Holly. You could get. True. True. Organize our own situations, ladies of Synthwave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be do fun, it. Actually. Do I mean, it. We, have, we both have the playlist for it. That's true. Yeah, although I have some dudes on mine. Oh no. Oh, well, that's disgusting. Your ladies Absolutely no, disgusting. I, that. I call it Synthwave Dreams. Synthwave What's it dreams? called? Synthwave, Synthwave dreams. dreams is my playlist. I'm gonna look it up as soon look as. It up. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's, it's a mix. It's a Motley Crue of stuff, but it's it's fun. But Abby's Motley Crue is, is like very well curated. Mine, mine, is, mine is not bad. All the ladies and then ladies that have collabed with, you know, dudes. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I try and keep it updated. Um, so I just added Primo's new one, which is amazing. Watch yeah, me. we beat him X. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that's great. It's, it's that's been called it. naughty. Friend. Someone called it's it naughty, so didn't they? It's fun. Very naughty. Yeah, She's very so naughty. And uh, like, Dana Jean Phoenix is one with the uh, Power Nerd, the new whole new albums. Uh, oh, no. Mega Wave. It's, it's super fun. Like, like, like all the songs are super energetic. It's kind yeah. of like take it to the gym, get a good workout, or yeah. Or oh, I, I take it to your living room, watch Joe Wicks at nine o'clock. Yeah. I try to do my one sit up. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> team Team Sweatwave might get a bit get a bit of an extra uh, boost out of you if you've heard Team Sweatwave by Dimmy K and everything. A real gung ho, real power workout kind of thing as well. It seems oh, yeah. to be it seems to be the thing. I think whilst everyone's stuck indoors, it's what we need. Totally. Mm. I think isn't Turbo Knight putting out a sweat wave thing? He's yeah. He's he, he was one of the um, produ oh, co-producers yeah. and collaborators uh, yeah, along yeah. with Espen oh, Craft. Um, uh, Ultra Boss was on there as well. Guitar work. Yeah, it's, it's really it's a really yeah, cool cool thing. Yeah. yeah. Why did you think you're on as a collaboration with with Turbo Knight? But it's been a long time coming, so oh, I'm not yeah. sure what the. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we don't know what uh, happened. Uh, are we? It'll never happen. We don't know. Are we? Maybe he was like, <laughs> I really don't know the guy, so I couldn't say, but I thought it we did a good job. And Icarus, so we'll see what happens. Um, I, I'm it's a very bro type song, though, I have to say. I'm not, I and mean, that's not an insult at all. <laughs> it's like a dude song, you know, like, you're on the road. Like, and I almost was, we were both like, <laughs> I know. Well, I wrote it. I like to be your band. Like, we're, 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 like, like, okay, we're, we're, we'll do what you want. All right, fine. I mean, yeah. I did this like or, original arrangement for it, but then it kind of like went in this other direction. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. If it ever comes out, we'll find out. Oh, man. Why do you think, bad. why do you think there aren't as many, um, uh, well, there probably are as many female acts, but there aren't as many female acts getting the airplay or the, or the, or being represented. Uh, is it the misogyny? Ooh, I don't a patriarchy. Know. No. It might be. Like on some of the big playlists, I think that women are yeah. underrepresented. Definitely, I do sure. too. Indeed. Yeah. And um, those playlists are like 28 days long. And no bugger is going to listen beyond the first <laughs> four hours. And yeah. I haven't heard a female artist in the first four hours. Listen out, Zen wow. Zenon. I've yeah. spent time to like really go and, and look through the whole thing. And you guys know how long it takes to scroll. God. God, yeah. And um, and I I've seen huge long playlists that are really popular and have tons of followers with just like one or two like token female artists. So you know yeah, that's, that's not good. Um, but yeah. uh, I mean I feel like there is a strong movement and I think that a lot of the I mean there are some really popular female artists of course like Nina, Mecca mm. Michael, Parallels and stuff. So um, I think that that's kind of changing. And I think yeah, it's evident. Day. It's been evident in the last couple of years. I think since um, since I started this, and in fact, certainly more so since Rob started, and even sort of brought up the point himself that actually I didn't have that much on the studio playlist uh, from female artists. And actually, what, what delving into it a bit more, you actually find, that, yeah, I, but, but yeah, I yeah, shouldn't have said it, should You're I? Really? I should. Have, I should have kept that but to myself. But it's it's That's because. Awesome. People, oh, people were just sending me stuff and it just happened to be male artists. I just accepted whatever came in because I didn't want to pay for it because I'm frugal. And I, yeah, that's just the way it went. So, yeah, so, so screw you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smash the... Well, there are also a lot of artists that just release so much stuff, you know? Like, oh, yeah. for Mary and I, like, we were... Don't get me started everything ourselves it's just like it's sometimes just it's too much it's mm. like 
I get that you're saturated. prolific and that's awesome, but just like take it down a notch and then if you if you wait a little bit and add some like some mystery exactly thank you I, this, I, I so believe in this because we won't name any artists we joke about them quite regularly on our shows but um you know we'll just say acy acy <coughs> um oh. and yeah i i totally believe that it just takes away from the the craft and the, the, the fact that people look up look forward to it they look forward to the release and it just seems like it's for the hell of it and I, I don't think music should be for the hell of it i mean if you enjoy it great for the hell of it keep doing your trade but if you want to be taken seriously i really think as you've said just just a little bit just a little just bit it, take it down and then make sure what you are putting out is the is just the best you mm. know possible version of of what you're capable of mm -hmm. you've written you you put out the best product that you can i mean Mary and I have literally spent years writing songs or just it's just taking forever to get something okay. together and finalize. Um, in fact, our recent collaboration with Driver86, oh, yeah. um, that took like over well over a year. And it's a really like pretty simple song, but it, it really took a long time because we wanted it to be, you know, the best version that it, it could be. So. I remember reading about that in an interview, yeah, like uh, 18 months ago or something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> busted. Come on. Oh, oh, it's okay. I mean, it, it needed to happen that way because I think we needed to walk away from it for a little while mm -hmm. and then revisit it with a fresher head because mm -hmm. sometimes you get stuck on like this one idea or I got stuck on my own idea and then was like, all right, I have to put this away for now because I'm not going to hear anything else until I just kind of let it get out of my head and then bring it back in. And I didn't yeah. even know it was going to come back in until it did. So mm. I'm glad it did because I think our end result is quite nice. Yes, yeah, definitely. Quite Agreed. nice. Quite okay. nice indeed. Very, very English uh, way of saying that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, how did comeback come about? Come back. Um, so I was listening Love to a lot you. of Time Cop at the time like a lot of dream waves and that kind of thing. And it I is very dream -wavy. really wanted to do something um, like that, like his song Comeback, for example, which are, is it called Comeback? I think it's called Comeback. Um, it's a little nod. Little nod, very, yeah. So um, yeah, I wanted to do something really dreamy and I was describing to um, our then producer, Miles, you know, what I was, what kind of sound we were trying to go for. So we, we started to work together and kind of you know made this really beautiful song happen actually it's probably my favorite song that we've done um i love it it's one of my favorites actually i've got it on a, my uh my um uh, uh, what you call it vocal sp sp spotify simply playlist and it's like right up there i listen to it a lot with a million day. followers it's got a million all followers those, it's probably got about seven followers <laughs> uh, and they're on my accounts i've just followed it from different <laughs> so yep that's lovely, though. Thank so the you. guy in a Valingo t-shirt. Um, <laughs> guys, we've been talking for almost an hour, which is amazing and fantastic, and it's just felt like 10 minutes. Um, sure, yeah, it actually has. Is there anything we haven't asked you or something that you want to talk about that, that we haven't, you know, that we haven't covered? Um, as lovely as this is. Too lately. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are you guys spending your time? Mic tests that haven't been very successful, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. So yeah, I guess we're both fortunate to still be gainfully employed. Um, uh -huh. So I'm working at home all day, and then I've got a young kid who turns five next week, and a, oh. and a, and a wife who's sitting next door, probably thinking, "Why is he going to get off the off the phone?" And uh, oh. and Joe, you you go out and about for your job, and your girlfriend Anna again is very understanding of our little hobby here. Yeah, she's she's asleep. Um, I used, <laughs> I usually do this in the bedroom, but she's been having a uh, a period where yeah, it's, it's it's been difficult for her. So we've we've come up with a, a new plan. So yeah, it's um, we're adapting, and just as we probably get used to things, it will go back to the way it was, and then it will go back back the way it was, and it will keep. Peaks and troughs. Virus. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I've got absolutely no confidence in this, this next, in 2020. Let's just write the whole thing off. No, yeah, this year's done. Yeah, mm. this yeah. year. Yeah. It's like cancelled this year. Like, it got cancelled, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. What a piece of crap. <laughs> Jamaica, yeah. god damn it. <laughs> I had a big birthday, and we had a trip planned to Jamaica. Oh, wow. Um, oh. Abby and her husband, me and my, and my guy, and a few other friends like dear friends and we were so stoked we were supposed to be leaving on may 2nd which was the other day oh no shit. You know what though like i mean this 
eclipses everything and that's yeah. fine and i had a lovely birthday regardless on zoom yeah, and her birthday on zoom, <laughs> zoom. happy <laughs> birthday happy belated birthday it was cute never yeah. ask a lady her age it was yeah. like almost a week ago <laughs> but um i'm looking forward to rebooking that trip when it is safe yes yeah, yeah really safe. we can stay for a week <laughs> Mm, yeah. You were off to Hawaii, weren't you, Joe? And that was all. Uh, well, we've managed to actually rebook the flight to LA and then the flight from LA to Honolulu. That's all, f but that it's in September. I don't know whether we've got a bit too eager. Yeah, I don't know whether we're going to be. I, I mean, September sounds somewhat reason more reasonable to me than June. And it's late. It's late September as well, so I, we, it'll be it'll, it'll be like more October. October. Yeah, so bad. fingers crossed. I mean. Awesome. Thing is, yeah. thing is, you've got to rely on one that the UK will let us leave, and two that America will let us enter. So yeah, <laughs> yeah it's exactly. yeah. So many Trump's bandwagon. And then the virus they're saying could come back in the in the fall with a vengeance. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Do you know what I say to that virus? Fuck off. <gasps> yes, please. Ooh, Fuck off, virus. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't exist anymore. Wait, where's the? Oh. <laughs> I love it. You're just like floating in space. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. So that, that would make a great music video for your next track. Let's really, really, it. yeah. <laughs> just get the Toxic Avenger in there. really on the cheap. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did actually film a quarantine video for Midnight Tensions. Did you? Oh, cool. Yeah. Is it on the YouTubes now? Not yet. We're, oh. It's still being edited. Um, okay. And Mary still has to shoot some scenes. But we're just, yeah. Around just your house. Scenes from home. Yeah. We're um, putting the kettle on. Spring light. Making in some avocado toast. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. People will be like, <laughs> I'll sleep on that. Video. But, yeah, I need to figure something out as soon as this is the equipment gets here. It's just right. issue oh. working stuff, but but deliveries have been taking longer. Yeah. Oh, of course. Up, so. Do you, you have to wash everything, dear? I had a, a, a delivery idea from Asda, and I had to wash every damn thing. Oh, yeah. Gosh. We're oh, washing. Yeah, well, we have to, you know. Um, spray down with disinfectant anything that comes in from any mm. grocery store or whatever. Right. Oh, wow. yeah. I feel like we've really underdone our lockdown compared to everyone we've been speaking to, Rob. Like we, ours has been so half-assed. <laughs> it, it's kind of well. I, we get what an hour's day mandatory. That's exercise. that. No, we don't get that. Let's be honest. They said that the people are just out and about. I mean, I was on the King's Road the other day. King's Road's a very like popular sort of shopping district in uh, oh, yeah. uh, Chelsea, where 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 I live. And on, honestly, that there's there's a little chain called Joe and the Juice, um, basically. Oh, yeah. Okay. And yeah, and they're they're op like just open, and there's people queuing, sort of thirty people long. People are going out to get juice or, or coffee yeah. or whatever, and that's so, that's been the problem are here. They they're not distancing, right? Are they online one by one? Uh, yes, they're in a line, but we're Brits. We love to queue and we're bloody good at it. Um, so I, we we, queuing it. has never been an issue, but the distancing, yeah, probably still uh, raises a more, few more questions than actually answers. So, yeah, it's not... I'll tell you a point there, but I, they're probably craving some normality. Again, near me, there's like a little bakery and that queue is, yeah, like two feet apart, whatever mm. it is, six feet apart, um, right around the block. And I think people are just like, but damn it, I'm British and I want my Danish pastry on a Saturday my morning <laughs> with a cappuccino. You went, you went from Scottish <laughs> to kind of Laurence Olivier <laughs> to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then the Australian said, all right, mate, I want a pan of chocolate. That sounded <laughs> Scottish, a bottle of yeah, scotch. I don't, I don't do good accents. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see myself queuing up for haggis, though. I don't think I would. Ooh, 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 ooh. Are you talking? No, you talking? no, 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 no. I can handle that. But yeah, we, as we much as I love, so I married an axe murderer. I don't know if I could. <laughs> oh, that's a great film. Yeah, it's a great movie. It's so I'm funny. I'm gonna go and watch that. Like any time from at any point. Yeah. yeah. It's a good comfort movie. Mm. Like uh, like like Back to the Future or The Burbs. I love The Burbs. I'll always yeah, I love The Burbs. Yeah. yeah, it's a great film. I love that. <laughs> You haven't seen it? No. Go to, uh, there's a website, there's Chili, the Amazon Prime probably got it. Oh, Amazon Prime. I'll, def I'll definitely check for that. That's funny. Yes. Favorite 80s movie before we go? So top. Ooh. My favorite 80s movie, anything John Hughes. Say yes. anything probably at the top anything of Anything John head. Hughes. Um, God, that's a really tough question. Valley Girl, you guys. And they're Valley remaking Girl. it. Why? 
Oh, oh yeah, do not remake. Uh, it's bothering. Alone. That's Nicholas. Nicholas Cage has three really good movies. <laughs> yeah. Valley Girl. Yep. Wild at Heart. And Wild at Heart. Wild at Heart. Wild at Heart. That's, David. That's that's David Lynch. Perfection. So good. Why are they really now you're talking? Valley Girl. Bob and oh. I are very mad about that. Mine's probably Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. Ooh, that's so weird to see that with oh there we go it does show it oh my god it's the best <laughs> oh i love it you guys have a different cover than we do yeah oh, really yeah that's great yeah we have a different cover for our you know how they do that them, right? why do they do that and um nicholas cage together like doing like blue seal action <laughs> have you um have you seen the uh, do you know college humor uh, you know the the YouTube channel College Humor. They oh, did yeah. that those Batman videos. They do a Nicolas Cage one where his oh, a, his oh. his agent is just basically saying, right, we've got this new film coming. It's basically rubbish. You don't want it. He's like, yeah, I'll do it. Sounds great. <laughs> and he's just literally, it's literally like he's got a bum for a face in one of them. Then there's one where he's and he and they gra and they gradually they gradually get worse until his agent just says, Nicholas, I'm joking. There are shit. Stop fucking saying yes. And he just break breaks down. Yeah. Well, speaking of which, she's playing Joe Exotic, the Tiger King, isn't he? Oh, yeah, I was no. going to say, did you guys see Tiger yeah. King on Netflix? Yeah. yeah, bits of it. I fell asleep a lot for it. But I felt it was good. Good too, but I have to say, like, I don't know why they would bother making it into a feature film. Like, we saw the original. What yeah. makes this Cage think he's going to do yeah. a better job of playing Joe Exotic than Joe Exotic? Gonna. I don't we get gonna. it. And before that, it was like a serial type thing. It was a, it was a podcast, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. So forget it. He shouldn't bother. He'll do anything. Tell him now. That's Hollywood He'll be filming it all around his house at this rate. Mm. What's that? He'll be filming it all around his house anyway at this rate. And his ninety acres of land where he could fit an yeah. entire entire cat sanctuary. Bring all the tigers in and yeah. have them hang out. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if she really did, you know, feed her. Carol Baskin. She did. She did. She definitely did. One hundred and ten percent. She's guilty. Absolutely. <laughs> Why don't you guys do an Italo disco number, Carol Baskin? And <laughs> Carol. <laughs> Carol Baskin. <laughs> Carol Baskin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sounds really, really good stuff there, Rob. Which is why you and I don't make music. We stay away from the music. Let Bunny X do their thing. <laughs> what a great coll collaboration idea. Let's do it. Mm. Let's do it. Yeah. I heard it was even singing before we go on. Huh? I heard he wasn't even really singing those songs. Was he not? He oh, it was so it was so mimed in the videos, wasn't it? Like really mimed. Um, he did like, have a wondrous voice for his appearance. I did think mm. it was a bit odd. It's, it's too him. deep. His voice is way it's too deep in the songs, and then his actual voice is so like, "Hey, yeah, I'm Joe Exotic. Hey, yeah, <laughs> wonderful. Ha, huh, yeah. Well, I'm lonely. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't fit. He's drama. Like the drama that he like he would emote while he was singing on top of a car, like a moving mm, car. Yeah. Like, what the hell is going on? Now? The role's made for Nicholas Cage. Really. <laughs> but I had to see how it ended. I had to see what would happen. With and it didn't he end the way I wanted. Tigers. He did. Jay yeah, killed a bunch of tigers, and Carol Baskin didn't go to prison. It no, sucked. What a bad ending. They're all just terrible garbage I people. Know. I just couldn't. I honestly couldn't watch it. I watched like a couple of parts of it. And I was just like. This is terrible. <laughs> yeah, I right. laughed because it was so ridiculous. We had to laugh. But like when I heard that he was euthanizing those beautiful baby tigers, I was yeah. like, what was the, po what is the point of that? Mm, There's yeah. no need for you. You let it grow up and be a majestic animal and you take care of it. That's what mm. you do. Yeah. yeah. That really got on my nerves, but yeah, um, it's gross. I don't need to see a full length feature film. <laughs> <laughs> no. Of, I mean, of, uh, of, of Lucas Cage uh, euthanizing. Uh, baby tigers. Oh god! I mean, has, that's a real ring to it. You've sold. Imagine that on the poster. <laughs> <laughs> Carol Baskin, Joe <laughs> Exotic, Bunny X to the soundtrack. Somebody has to do the robot because I can't. Obviously, I just. <laughs> Bunny. Uh, oh, ah, just put neck out. I know. I just actually heard my shoulder. Crack. <laughs> that was our daily exercise. <laughs> I know. That's it. You're welcome, Joe. Hey, three seconds of exercise. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> are you guys going out at all to, to like get like air and walking and yeah um yeah lucky enough to have just a little um bit of parkland behind nice. my house in south london there's a city farm that's shut at the moment but you can go and like look at the animals through the fencing and there's a little bit oh, of nice. and my kid runs around like a maniac and then we come oh back yeah school work oh. um mm -hmm. what about you guys yeah 
here and there. I don't get enough exercise because I've been very lazy these past couple of weeks. <laughs> I would like to get back on the bandwagon tomorrow. There's a, always tomorrow. There's always a, we'll start again tomorrow. Monday. We'll start Manana. again Monday. <laughs> yeah. Mañana por la mañana. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Mary speaks in Spanish. Uh, I'm I'm embarrassed because I'm I'm learning Spanish at the moment because my my girlfriend's Colombian and her mother obviously awesome. so I'm I'm trying but uh, uh it gives well. Uh yo quiero un sanduche con pescara e tomate. Tomates? Okay. I would like a okay. san I would like a sandwich with yeah, fish and you. tomatoes. Tomatoes. <laughs> I got the tomatoes. Essentials. That reminded me of um Corey Feldman in the Goonies. When he's telling, he's speaking to the the housekeeper, or whatever, and he's like, and that is the way it keeps the sexual torture instruments, or whatever. And it's so, anyway. <laughs> so many good references from the Goonies. That's probably yeah, my favorite. I actually need to rewatch it because I forgot. A so lot good. Fifty dollar bill. <laughs> <laughs> did you see Josh Gad did a Zoom? Uh, he got all of the cast reunited virtually. It's on the YouTube's, wow. and okay. uh, yeah, and Chunk. Is super thin now, and he's like yeah. an entertainment lawyer. Yeah, he, he looks really good. He looks very good wow. now. I don't even recognize him. I feel like, yeah. who's that? I went to um, that area. It's in Oregon, in the Pacific Northwest of the yeah. US, where they filmed some of the some of the movie. Yeah, yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, right? A few years ago. Yeah. I love that movie so cool. much. I hope they never remake it. I know. I yeah. hope they never remake it either. Like, just don't. Yeah, just yeah. leave it alone, damn it! Exactly. But they're remaking. Uh, they're remaking June. Leave it be. They're not going to make it any better. Exactly. These little millennials. <laughs> you know, I mean millennials. We can only know it all. That 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 actually constitutes this guy. Yeah, this they they say they say <laughs> if you're sorry, born. Guy, you're cool. They. Are... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were. I mean, I don't. You're right. Whatever. Does that make me okay, a zen a zenial? No. Out of mouth. Zen yeah, zenial. Gen X. No, Gen X. Zenial. No, what is it? Sorry, I got my late seventies. What am I? You're you're What's not. That? Yeah, I mean you're not millennial because it's eighty two onwards. They class uh, eighty two uh, no, to. I'm I think big. if you're born from eighty two to two thousand and two, I think like a twenty year period they class as millennials. So yeah, no, I, you're definitely I'm not that in funny, that. I'm that middle one, am I? You're um you're, you're um zenial, zenial. There you go. So, so bus pass owner. Is that right? Yeah, that's but, right. Yeah. <laughs> Other zennials. What are the dates for zennials? The birthday? I think uh, it must be like, what, 74, 75 till like 81 or something, maybe. I don't yeah. know. Mm -hmm. People who've like, got a distinctly analog. Early 80s. Yeah. You have a little bit of both. Yeah. I don't know what I am. I mean, Generation X, I would imagine. Mm. Yeah. No. Which, which sounds so much cooler. <laughs> than millennials. Oh, Billy Idol reference, yay. Yeah, yeah. in the midnight hour. Like, wow, go ahead. Motorcycle accident and everything. He looks fantastic. Mm. Yeah, I know. He's, he's great. He does not age, that man. No. He really he's never going to die. Sorry? Neither, I, I, I know he really doesn't age. He, like, he hmm? looks... I mean, okay, you know, you have a couple of lines here and there, but like he still has hair. Yeah. Sounds the same. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are still, they're still holding it together. Like um, Terry Nunn, the singer of Berlin. She looks oh, amazing. fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dolph Lundgren still looks quite good. He, he, <laughs> he's just, just putting it out there. I haven't seen him in a hot minute. Don't know. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, I think there's maybe a little bit of work going on. I mean, could be. Each of them. Right. John Jett looks good. Mm. Yes, John Jett does look good. Judge Judy. Have you really seen her lately? Girl, I will send you a oh, picture. Really? Oh, <laughs> looks like oh. Judge Judy. God. Judge Judy with a mullet, sort of. Whoa, oh. yes. I mean, I love me some Joan Jett, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to be a jerk, but I <laughs> have to say, I don't think that she had a beautiful face. She really did, but I think she's had some surge. Oh, I don't okay. Know. She got the whole fish mouth going on though. Oh yeah, the fish mouth. Oh, I don't even know how old she is. I mean, I don't think she's that old. No. Thing is, it's easy to get carried away with. Like you sort of think, oh, the eighties weren't that long ago. They can't be more than about fifty. They're like seventy now. Like it's mm. like it's insane. Yeah. Like I mean, Kevin Kevin Bacon is probably what sixty something, and yet hundred and two. Hundred. Hundred two. Yeah. I, yeah. Time marches on. Mm. Time marches on. She, she looked. I don't know. I noticed. So it was like. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On that, that note, like that. thank you guys of, so much for having us. Speaking of time, yeah, thank on. you for joining us. Thank, thank you so you. much. 
It's and been a really lovely chat. I feel we're best friends for life now. Yes. Yay. <laughs> no, it's we been really cool. You guys. Um, I met Stuart last summer um, at the Outland party in Toronto. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's and um, so love to talk to him about doing something there at some point when possible. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, when yeah. possible. Yeah, he's the one to speak to, right? And join sure. us on the show. Join us in the studio. Make sure you're here on a Wednesday when you come to London and not Barnsley. Okay. London. Let me just spell it out. L O N D O N. Yeah. Thank you guys again so much. This was guys, awesome. It was really, really lovely. Have lovely rest of your days, afternoons. It's quarter to eleven at night here, so you've got to Oh go. yeah, get to get to bed. Get to, bed. Yeah. Yeah. Get to, get to sleep. Too. And uh, <laughs> thank you guys and stay safe, most importantly, and we'll speak thank to you again you. soon. Yeah. Well. Self isolate and synth wave and we look forward to the album. See you guys. Take care. Take care, guys. Merry bye, Abby. Bye bye. See ya. Bye. I'm not on my mic over. <laughs>